Hi and welcome back to Neural Splendor. Tonight we're going to talk about the tone ring wheel that is found on the front of the cam gear on the ISX CM2250 or ISX CM2350. Doesn't matter whether it's a 12 liter or 15 liter. It does matter that the engine is was made between 2010 and 2021 because those are the engines that have that tone wheel in it. I've not had the cover off a of CM2450. I'm assuming it's there, but I don't know for sure. We've got a few of those engines, but they're brand new, so there's no reason to be pulling them apart at this point in time. So on that, uh, that tone wheel, which is really like a giant steel flat frisbee with some strategically cut slots in it, it is timed on the gear. I'll show you how to put it back on the gear if you take it off. Uh, it's not rocket science easy enough to do. The critical thing is that when you put those bolts back in, you look up the torque, you torque them, and you put high strength Loctite on them before you torque them in. Because I've seen pictures of what happens when one falls out. And there was an engine that was overhauled, and uh, my heart goes out to the guy that did this. He, he pulled that tone ring off by mistake, and I've done it too. You don't need to ever pull that off the gear. You're not supposed to, but if you do, you can put it back on. But uh, one of the bolts fell out about three months after the engine was back on the road after a major overhaul, and it destroyed the gear train in the front of the engine, bent valves, uh, we're talking about twelve to $15,000 in damage because one bolt fell out. So you want to clean those holes, put in high strength Loctite, put it together, and torque those bolts to spec when you put that back together. We've actually taken tone rings off a couple different times. A couple guys did it. We followed that procedure putting it back together never had a problem. One of the engines has been out there running almost four years now. So uh, you can put it back together and go to sleep at night and not have bad dreams about it. It'll be okay. So let's take a look at that tone wheel and how to get it back on. Uh, thanks again for watching Earl Splendor. Here we are looking at the side of the plate that would be against the gear when it's installed. We're going to draw an imaginary line from the second top groove all the way down to the bottom groove through the pin. If you can draw that line and it's through the pin, then you are on that hub correctly. Here's a quick picture of the other side of the tone ring bolted on the hub. Notice the heads of the bolts are quite unique. They take a special socket so that flags you right there. And over here on the left where you can barely read it, and especially when it gets sludgy, you won't be able to read it. It says, do not disassemble. But we all belong to the do not disassemble club. And if you don't, you will sooner or later. It happens to the best of us. Thanks for joining me on Neural Splendor. See you next time.